Nico, thanks for joining us. A trip to Harrogate at the weekend. What are your thoughts heading into that one? Um, looking forward to the game. Um, got a good bit of confidence as a team from the game on Tuesday night. Um, so we'll be going there with a game plan um, and looking to win the game. So, yeah, looking forward to the game, really. Yeah, it must be very pleasing for you to get off the mark on Tuesday night. And I suppose a win for the team, just a big weight off the shoulders. Yeah, it's nice to get off the mark uh, fairly early on in the season. Um, and like you said, yeah, weight off the shoulders of the team. Um, first win under our belts. And it, we, we played a lot better in that game um, as a squad. Um, from the start of 11 to the boys coming on, we we really stuck to the game plan well and the intensity was there. And I think the fans appreciated that because they were a, a lot more with us. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a good performance all round, but we need to build on that. If we lose on Saturday, it counts for nothing really, doesn't it? So... Um, yeah, we need to we need to keep building. Yeah, do you think it was anything in particular that sort of changed, not necessarily the mindset of the lads, but as you say, the performance, you know, certainly from the outside looking in, it was a lot better. Do you think there was anything that you can sort of pin it to? Well, we've been working on a lot of things in training. Um, we analyse all our games and we've seen where we've gone wrong in the previous two. And the gaffers and the rest of the coaching staff have been very... They've stressed to us a lot about what we've been doing wrong in that, that regard and we implemented it really well on Tuesday, so... Um, yeah, we're we're always learning and always trying to improve, and I, I suppose it's it's a good good building block for the future, really. Yeah, good building block to you know get that first win of the season. But I suppose now it's just a case of turning that cup win into a league win, isn't it? Obviously, we've still got zero points, but it would be really nice to get some on the board, wouldn't it, on Saturday? Yeah, that's it. It's, it is a building block, and we need to continue that and improve on it because we can still get a lot better than that. We weren't by any means perfect. It wasn't the perfect performance. Um, we can tidy up on a lot of things, but again, we we did uh, some analysis on that and we've got more things to work on and improve that way. Yeah, and you've been leading the lads out of Skipper for the last few games. I can imagine that's a really special feeling for you. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice really nice feeling. The gaffer's given me the armband for now. He, he's uh, said he's going to be passed around, which is fine. Uh, George has been a great captain, um, still is. So, yeah, it's 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 really nice, nice moment. But, yeah, like, like he said, it's going to be passed around and and see how the other below, uh, lads get on with it as well. Yeah, as you say, it's nice that he's put his faith in you. How has it been working with Kevin and Dan so far over the first three games? Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, obviously the first two results didn't go to plan. Um, but no, I've really enjoyed it. The training's really good. The style of play suits how I want to play. So, yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough of them, really. It's, it's been uh, Dan's buzzing over there, <laughs> smiling away. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, it's, it's definitely going to get the get the best out of me so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the season really. Yeah sort of going back to the cup obviously a great draw Premier League team at home you can't complain about that obviously last time we had a Premier League team we beat them 3-0 but it would be amazing to have the fans there won't it? Yeah I mean like you said we beat Leeds 3-0 and that was a brilliant day but there was no fans there so um, it'll be nice for them them to be there I'm sure it'll be a, a sellout um, and, and we'll see how we get on. Um, can't promise another 3-0 win, but we'll, we'll give it a good go. We'll have a game plan. Um, we're going to go there and try and win the game. It's a cup game. You, you never know. Um, we're going we're gonna to keep to our style of play and, and hopefully cause another upset. Yeah, final on a personal note, obviously. Harrogate away last year, I think you scored a pretty special goal, didn't you? So I would imagine you're looking to replicate that. Yeah, probably one of my favourite goals, that is, actually. Um, so, yeah, I uh, got good memories of that place and I'd like to do it again. Hopefully I can do one better and score an even better one this time. Nico, thanks for talking. No worries, thanks. Kevin, thank you for joining us. A trip to Harrogate at the weekend. How have the preparations been for that one? Very good. Um, the players had a, off the back of a really good performance and result on Tuesday. You know, we're going to the game full of confidence and, um, you know, the uh, preparation has been the same as we've done right from the beginning of pre-season. The boys know the process in terms of a, a review of the game at last and then a preparation for the next game. Um, but everyone's in really good spirits and um, there's, there's really good um, feel around the place. So, yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Um, we know it's going to be a really tough test, um, but we'll go there with, with, as I said, good ascendancy going into the game and hopefully get a positive result. Yeah, it must be must feel really good to you know have that buzz around the place and you know a real kick after a good result and then a good draw in the cup as well you know it really lifts you know not just the players the staff and the fans as well it just really lifts the mood doesn't it of course i mean but you know we have been off the back of a fantastic pre-season um with results and performances 
But um, you know, the first couple of games we did play well in, in loads of aspects of the game, but we didn't create enough chances um, in those games. Are we fully aware of that? Um, and then we put it right on, on, on Tuesday, and now it's another opportunity in the league to, um, to have another really good performance and um, a good result. And um, yeah, I think the, the reward for the players, we knew we would take every single game as, as important. Yeah, we changed the team on Tuesday with a number of, of changes. Um, we give an opportunity to other players, and um, that showed the level of the depth of the squad. So it's really good that the players came in and did well. Um, and the reward was a really good trip um, fixture against the Premier League opposition in Fulham. Yeah, what you just touched on there in itself, you know, some of the players on Tuesday showed you know the real quality and the depth of the squad. Obviously, we had Ludi, we had Tony, who hadn't played you know competitively this season. So it must be a really good feeling knowing that you have these options available to you, and almost gives you a bit of a headache in selection, doesn't it? Of course, that's what we wanted. That's what any football manager wants: is competition for places and. We know we're going to pick up injuries and suspension and um, uh, poor performance and we need the squad to be ready to step up and um, take their role and responsibility. You know, we, we don't want to be carrying any players at this football club. We want players to be able to step up to the first team and um, you know, um, perform. Uh, and perform um, in, a, in a really positive way and we, we saw that on, uh, on Tuesday night and um, we will need every single one of the members of our squad um, to do that for, for now and to the rest of the season. Yeah, it was sad to see Dion go off at half-time. Was it? Is there any update on his injury? Yeah, you know, Dion um, is getting checked at the moment by the by the doctors and uh, the medical team um, here that we have are excellent, and um, yeah, we'll um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, obviously, sort of brings us back to that point, doesn't it? Obviously, with that draw, you know, getting through to the cup, it's great, but it does bring another Tuesday game, doesn't it? I think we're Saturday, Tuesday, and you know, including BT games, we almost don't have a, a Tuesday off until mid-September, so it's going to be challenging, isn't it? Especially training days like these in this heat as well you know we are going to have to use a lot of players aren't we yeah of course and that's that's why every every team needs a squad and um, we um, the players have had seven eight weeks off you know <laughs> off season so let's enjoy while the football's here and uh, we've got loads of games which is fantastic for us and um, we will enjoy it and we'll utilize the squad uh, appropriately and um, you know we'll go into each game wanting to have a good performance and improve our way of playing and um, and really um, players will be pushing for places. Yeah we all had some very positive things to say about the fans on Tuesday night you know they were absolutely incredible I'm sure as many of them are going to try and make the journey up to Harrogate as they can obviously there's more planned train strikes the two away days we've had have been sort of ruined by them but there'll be plenty and they're singing in their numbers and I can imagine you're incredibly grateful for that. Without a doubt and um, it's funny because we stopped at the same services as the fans. I think it was on the last trip on the way back from Carlisle, and, uh, and we stopped and had a really good chat with the fans on the on the coach. And um, we're really thankful for their for their efforts in terms of making the journey. And um, we know what commitment it is to follow a football team. And um, we would continue every single game that we play, home and away, to give everything we can. Um, we give everything we can every day as a group of players and a group of staff and um, that won't change whatever game it is and um, hopefully they can see that we're doing our best every single day to, to give back and repay them for their, for their sort of um, um, input into the football club. Kevin, thanks for talking. Pleasure.